This is Mike Nine from I Hate God, and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos Television. My name is Mike Nine Williams, and I'm playing here with I Hate God tonight. We're uh, on tour with Black Label Society and Corrosion and Conformity. Sacramento. Sacramento. Corrosion and Conformity is a band that I kind of grew up on, and um, you know, I had their, bought their first record, which is the, the really hardcore album, Eye for an Eye. And uh, I started writing those guys back when I was a kid. I used to write Woody, and I'd write Reed. Apparently, Reed says he still has some of my letters, apparently. But you never know. But um, just always loved that band. And, the, you know, they would write me back, and Reed would write me back. You know, we talk about bands like Celtic Frost and stuff, these new bands coming out at the time. You know, so the next album, Animosity, was more kind of the crossover type stuff, you know. They played New Orleans with DRI, COC and DRI, and it was just amazing, you know, blown away. They had that Black Flag influence, too, you know, which I always thought was great. And, um, I mean, we get, we, we've borrowed a few, like, things from them, like some of the feedback ideas and things like that. Just always, you know, and they're great friends of ours now, too, so... Uh, we toured with them in 94, I uh, uh, don't know which album they had out then, but yeah, we did a whole U.S. tour with them then, and we're just old friends. Pepper, who's back in the band now, Pepper Keenan, he's uh, from New Orleans, so I grew up, I knew him way back then too. We used to hang out, you know, he had a Motorhead shirt on, and I was like, oh, you know, that's how we met, people wearing the same type of shirts, you know, or, or with a weird fucking haircut or something, you know. That's how we'd meet, and uh, so yeah, long time history with that band, you know. Good people, they're not, you know, take us out on tour. The name I Hate God, it's, it's hard for me to explain because there was a singer before me who was only in the band like um, maybe two or three practices. They never played live or did anything like that, but uh, he came up with this concept and it was just like, Jimmy could tell you better, but it's something like EYE. It's like how you see things and how you, and you hate your vices, which like this is equal to God. Like God, God, it's like money, sex, drugs, you know, things like that, and like addictions and things like that. So that's just the best I know about it, you know. So, but I mean, you know, it's a great name, you know. It's uh, not allowed us to have uh, commercial success, but. We still, we got it though. Me and Jimmy have been knowing each other since probably 85 or so. Um, me and J Jimmy used to play in a band called Shell Shock back then. And uh, I, I went on tour with them in America and uh, as their like merch guy, you know, slash roadie or whatever. And uh, it, th that band was uh, kind of starting to splinter, you know, fall apart a little bit. Shell Shock was like a New Orleans hardcore band, you know. They were kind of starting, that tour was kind of a, a mess, you know. And uh, the whole tour, me and Jimmy would talk about starting a, a band that was heavy like Black Sabbath, but had the aggression and, uh, you know, the energy of, of hardcore, you know, and punk. So we wanted to mix those two, Sabbath and, and punk and hardcore. I mean, there was bands already doing it, you know, like there was St. Vitus and... Uh, a number of bands doing similar things, you know, and uh, the Melvins were already had like uh, for their first record out and stuff. Big influence was the Melvins. And um, we just made it more aggressive and heavier, you know, and we just took a chance with that. Like, because I can't sing, you know, so uh, we just did it that way. And it people hated us at first, completely hated. You know, the, you know, the metalheads thought we were too punk and the punks thought we were too metal. But it was like, it's weird though, because that's the same time crossover was happening. But we were crossover in a whole different way, you know, with the slower stuff and the Sabbath influence. Black Flag, Black Sabbath, you know, kind of that mixed together. But anyway, but anyway, what I'm saying, yeah. Met Jimmy, uh, a girl I met around the same time wanted me to live closer to her. So me and Jimmy moved in together and just... Uh, I was in a band called Suffocation by Filth at the time. We were like a hardcore band, but we did uh, so that band Sodom from Germany. We, we did a cover from them, and 
We did a Bad Brains cover, just a Discharge cover. So I was playing in that band, and Jimmy was in, in, a, in another band uh, called Blatant Frustration. I think before Shell Shock, yeah. So anyway, me and Jimmy just started thinking these crazy ideas about the band, and um, as far as the rest of the guys, it just kind of came together, you know? Like there was a drummer before Joey, our, our drummer Joey passed away in 2013. There was a drummer before him named Joey, Joey Delat. We call him the hat, because he always wore this stupid hat. And um, I mean, that's basically, he was a friend of Jimmy's. It was a couple different lineups back then, and then it finally settled on, we got Mark Schultz, Joey Lacaz, and uh, there was a bunch of different bass players, you know. Gary's been with us now. Hey, he's been with us for uh, a while. Gary Mater on bass. He's been with us uh, as, as a bass player the longest, you know. And then we got Aaron now, Aaron Hill on drums. So, yeah, it's hard to remember how I met anybody, but I don't know what that means really to make it, you know. I mean, being on a tour like this is super cool because. Uh, I mean, Black Label Society, they're great and nicest people ever, you know. They're, but honestly, that's not the same type of music as, as us at all. But it's a cool tour because it's like us, then Corrosion kind of is the middle man. You know, they blend it together. And then uh, Black Label closes it up, you know. But as far as making it, man, I don't know what that means. I, mean, I wanted to, oh, I, I used to say if I put out three albums... And, you know, a few other little, if, if somebody gets a tattoo of my band, then that's it. That's it. That's all I wanted. And that's happened a million times. And we've got out, like, a bunch of records. So, but I don't, I don't know, as far as, uh, like I said, the name is, um, it's, you know, no, there's no commercial success with the name I Hate God. So, no, nothing like that. I mean, we, we've had sam uh, parts of our songs in a couple different movies and stuff, but. This movie, Without a Paddle, the comedy movie, there's a, a scene where there's a I Hate God song. And uh, Gummo, the movie Gummo. I think we're on the soundtrack, not the movie. but So we did some stuff like that. You know, We've been to Europe a thousand times, and I've, we've done everything I wanted to do, you know. But we're still doing it, so. No, it's uh, specific. Well, I mean, they come in, you know, little increments, songs do. Like, um... I mean, but the last album we put out, we hadn't put an album out in 14 years before that. Because we just, I mean, we don't want to be one of those bands that just pumps out a record, then goes on tour, then pumps out another, you know, it seems formula, formulaic, or I don't know how you say that word, but uh, it, that's like a formula of doing it, you know. I think we just take our time and do it as we feel it, you know. I mean, the whole band's about feeling and you know, the passion for the music anyway, you know, the energy and until we stop having fun and all that, I think we'll just keep doing it, you know. But there's a there's a whole record written. It just needs vocals and uh, you know, more guitars and stuff like that. But it's uh yeah, it's just basically waiting for me. But we're on tour this whole year, so as soon as I get to that we'll take care of it. Yeah, I was born in North Carolina. Moved to New Orleans when I was like 11, 10, 11. Been there ever since. I've, I've lived in Brooklyn, went out to California for a while, but New Orleans is always the place. My dad was a hunter, yeah, but uh, I, w I never really picked up on it, you know? I was more into horror movies and, you know, uh, Frankenstein, Mummy, you know, all that stuff, man. When I was a little, this is like a little kid, you know? So I, I don't know, I wasn't that interested in that, but... Uh, I mean, guns are awesome, you know, but I, I just wasn't into hunting and, you know. Well, a, a fun, unknown fact is that I used to be a skinhead. I used to, but I didn't have a shaved head, though. I was a skinhead when I was younger, like 15, more like a hardcore kid, black flag and, you know, that type of skin. But uh, later on, I started hanging out with these guys and they, they just, they became more and more racist as it went along. So I just didn't want anything to do with that, you know, so. But I don't know. I don't know where the skins are anymore. Where, where's the where's the the boots and braces, man? I don't know. No, I usually don't listen to anyone. You know, I usually make my own rules with all that. And yeah, that's got me in trouble many times. 
done a lot of stupid shit, you know, ended up in jail a few times and things like that. But, you know, I don't really take advice from people, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't trust anybody or believe anybody, so I just kind of stick with my own stupidity and take it from there, you know. Music means everything, you know. I mean, you know, here I am at this age, 2018, just still doing the band. I still uh, listen to music every day, you know. If I hear a new band that I like, I'll, you know, which is kind of rare nowadays, but, you know, it's, it's a good thing, you know, but just always listening to music, always reading about it and doing whatever we can do, you know. Yeah.